friends are in trouble? Hey, Stinky! Welcome back to Brothers Theory Productions, everyone. I am Q, and today we have another Mario theory. In Super Mario Sunshine, Mario finds a particular sprinkle device with the incredible ability to spray water in any direction with the name Flash Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing Device, or FLUD for short. I know that the plumber made good use of its powers, but I believe he only tapped the vastness of its true potential. 40,000 years of evolution and we barely even tapped the vastness of human potential. Let's begin, shall we? In 2002, Mario and Peach go on a vacation to the fabulous Isle Delfino. As they arrive on Delfino airstrip after another happy landing, they find the runway, covered with goopy slime-like graffiti. Bone melt him! Melt his bones! Oh god! Oh no! That's horrible! Mario is set out to clean up every inch of Al Delfino. Luckily for our plumber, he has everyone's favorite water jetpack at his side. Flood features not only spray and hovering capabilities, but also the rocket and turbo launch functionalities. You'll never catch me, Krabs. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. Hiya! Certainly a powerful piece of equipment, but how powerful are we talking? I knew I should have gotten the turbo. How powerful is the flood pack really? To know this, we need to analyze its abilities in the game. Throughout Mario's journey, the plumber continuously sprays paint off walls with his super splash. In real life, a power washer meant to wash paint off walls needs a range between 2000 to 4000 psi of pressure. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. But where on the spectrum does Mario Sunshine's paint go? Hmm, hard to tell. But I think it's somewhere in the middle, around 3000 psi with 1 PSI being 6,895 pascals of pressure, we find that 3,000 PSI is around 20,685,000 pascals. That's a lot of pressure. For calculating purposes, pascal can also be written down as Newton per meter squared. But what does this number mean exactly? Well, simply put, this means that for every square meter of area sprayed with water, 20,685,000 newtons of force are applied. Honestly, that sounds a bit forced. Anyway, 20,685,000 newtons per meter squared. What can we do with this information? Well, we can find out how much force is applied on the area that Mario sprays with water. So we need to calculate this surface area. This, in all honesty, is pretty hard to do because we are talking about water which splashes on walls randomly. Mario just loses his load willy-nilly. I really don't have a great angle to measure. What we can do, however, is measure the size of Flood's nozzle itself. Knowing that Mario is 155 centimeters, we find that the nozzle's radius is around 1 eighth that size. So that would be 0.19 meters. We also observe that the nozzle is circular in shape. And one, two, three. A circle, the thingy. So the area of the nozzle is found with the formula of a circle being radius squared times pi. Putting in our radius, we get a total surface area of around 0.12 meters squared. 
knowing that 1 meter squared gives you 20,685,000 newtons of force, this would in turn mean 0.12 meter squared would be around 2,440,000 newtons of force. This number might be hard to grasp, but realistically, this is the equivalent of 250,000 kilograms, or 550,000 pounds. That's like the weight of four planes, or six full-grown whales in the form of a single beam of water shot straight into your face. That's also why fire hoses, which are also under immense pressure, are definitely not to be messed with. Nice job, Chris. You got my shirt wet. You might feel bad for everyone who gets sprayed by flood, but realistically speaking, not only the targets, but also the one using the device would face the consequences. You can't do the time, don't do the crime. If Mario were to shoot something or someone with water, this act will have serious consequences for him too. You see, due to Newton's third law, this action would make Mario suddenly fly backwards, with the same amount of force still being 2,440,000 Newtons. That's like getting punched in the face with a 250,000 kilogram punch ball. Realistically, Mario would definitely suffer a serious skull fracture, for which only 2,300 Newtons are required, or even a spinal fracture, where only 3,000 Newtons are needed. Incredible! You know, the device isn't called Flood for nothing. Its name is of course derived from the English word Flood. These catastrophes are enormous amounts of water that often cause death and havoc in public areas. Let's be honest, this kind of power in the wrong hands? The results would be catastrophic. Luckily, Flood is broken at the end of the game, so everyone can rest easy now, knowing that the water sprinkler is no more. Or this theory is completely wrong and dumb. Oh well.